Welcome, welcome to the Heads Together podcast. I think super jazzy this week, actually. That one. I'm giving myself about a eight out of ten for that jazziness. Don't worry, I will stop doing this at some point. It's just that every time I can't help it. Every time I can't sit down here to record, it just comes out of me. I think it's like a natural talent. Probably X Factor next year if it was still running. Don't think it is though. Meh, never mind. Anyway, welcome and thank you for joining me again this week. I want to talk about guest podcasting this week because something really interesting happened a week or so ago and it really got me thinking about this. And I know that a lot of you listening either have a podcast of your own or you use guest podcasting as a way to market your business. And it's such a great method of marketing. You know, suddenly you're leveraging someone else's audience. And it's a great way to get your content into the ears of, like I said, new audience, you know, new people. It's one thing that I absolutely love to do. I love being interviewed. I love it when the shoe's on the other foot and someone else is interviewing me. So if I do get invited um, to be a guest on someone else's podcast, I am there. I'm all for it. And this is what happened recently. But something happened in the run up that meant that I was not as prepared as I normally would be. What had happened was. I had COVID the first time that we actually had a recording session booked in. So I'd had to cancel it. So that meant some time had gone by. So I was not prepared. But what I also wasn't prepared for was what would happen when I hadn't done that normal level of preparation that I would normally do. And it was an eye opener. And that's what I want to talk and share with you today, because it's a real paradigm shift. And I think it's going to be helpful. Okay. So let's dive in. Welcome, welcome to the Heads Together podcast. I'm Jill Mokes and I am obsessed with cutting through the noise when it comes to growing your business. Each week via intimate coaching conversations and inspirational stories, I share what it really takes to get the results you want in a way that feels right to you. I am all about attracting higher ticket opportunities, building authentic relationships and creating the abundant full fat version of your dream business. I mean, how many of us have beavered away creating a light version of what we really want? The thing is, I honestly believe when you're outstanding at what you do, there is no limit to what you can achieve. So, Are you ready to put our heads together and make it happen? Let's go. Okay, so like I say, I was interviewed recently and it was by the amazing, fierce Hayley Maxwell, right? For her podcast, Fierce Impact. So this is another one. Get this on your must listen to list. So Hayley is lovely. I really love her. She's in Australia. She is a fabulous podcast host. But like I say, I'd had to cancel our original session. And I think I had COVID. Or was it? No, actually, do you know what? It wasn't COVID. I had no bloody Wi-Fi. Honestly, where I live, middle of nowhere, I have to have this Huawei booster thing to be able to podcast. And that was down. And my other... Wi-Fi is just not strong enough. So one of those awful tech days, and I'd had to cancel our recording session. So we rescheduled. And of course, by the time the rescheduled recording session came around, it had been ages since I'd filled out her intake form. And, you know, she's so professional. She got this wonderful intake form over to me. I had spent some time filling it all out. I'd got it back to her in good time. Of course, I didn't do anything sensible like save a copy. Oh, no, that would have been way too sensible. And the problem is with my menopause brain, I literally could not remember anything that I'd put on the form. I just had such a blank. I'm I'm so lucky that Hayley is just a really decent human being. And she was very gracious about it and just kind of like filled me in on everything that I'd completed and and shared with me some of the answers I'd given. But I honestly didn't have a recollection of it. 
But the thing is, luckily, the topic, first of all, the topic that we were talking about was rewilding your business. So you know that that's something I love talking about anyway. But what I wasn't prepared for was when we dived into the interview and started talking, it was just so comfortable. Like, I don't really suffer from nerves anyway um, before I get interviewed. But I think what I normally do is I have this like mental checklist of all the points I've prepared that I want to kind of cover off in the interview. And the trouble with that is that sometimes it means you're not as present in the conversation as you could be. Because in, in your head, you're trying to shoehorn in these cleverly prepared answers that you've been going over or that you worked on before the recording session. And because I just had no, you know, I didn't have a recollection of what I prepared. I was just so present in the conversation. And it meant that I was really listening carefully to her questions. And then I was able to just answer really freely and naturally. And honestly, Without that time in advance to over prepare for the session, to really kind of like overthink it, it just felt so natural. And the conversation flowed really well. I was just completely reactive to what she was asking me, to what Haley was asking me. And I think. I think what we normally do when we're preparing to be interviewed, we do our research on our um, host and we think about the topic that we've decided that we wanted to talk about. And we, we start kind of trying to second guess what some of the questions might be, or even, you know, some hosts share with you what the questions are going to be that they're going to ask you. And, and um, I don't do that, but some do and Hayley doesn't either. So you know, we didn't have that, but some do. So, so of course, you, you're going into this interview with completely pre-prepared answers. And I think as soon as we do that, you, you start trying to second guess yourself. And, and you also start trying to second guess the way that what you're about to say is going to be received, right? So we start thinking, oh my God, you know, am I making this sound too complicated? Or am I dumbing this down too much? Am I being too serious here or am I being too flippant? Because, you know, that's one for me. I'm like, oh, my God, do I need to be really sensible here and have my sensible head on? Am I going to offend someone? If I don't offend anyone, does that mean they're going to think I'm boring? You know, and the trouble is, I think what happens then is it really can lead to us coming across as inauthentic. And it's not something we're doing intentionally, but it really is a thing. And I Having interviewed a lot of people now for this podcast, I can tell when someone is being, as they would see it, kind of proactive. They've really thought long and hard about what they're going to say rather than allowing themselves to just freely have a normal conversation. And actually, it's more what I hear happening on other people's podcasts. And I can kind of spot it a mile off now. And to be honest with you, it will put me off a podcast if you've got a really over rehearsed guest who just is stopping it from being a natural flowing conversation. It really puts me off. A bit like scripts. So it's like if I was to completely script these episodes, I don't think you guys would enjoy it as much because. I don't know about you. I can tell straight away if someone is reading their podcast episode from a script. And the surprising thing for me is that some of the top podcasters, I can think of a couple of female podcasters off the top of my head. I don't listen to a lot of male podcasters, but a couple of very well-known female podcasters, I'm pretty sure they are reading their entire podcast episodes. And I find that really surprising. I guess it's a personal preference. Maybe not everyone finds that as off-putting as me. Maybe my faux pas and and (laughs) mistakes that I make and ramblings are actually more annoying than if it was scripted. But I'm not going to change that, I'm afraid. So you're always going to get these little rambly bits. But honestly, when I come across one that I think is scripted, I'm straight away hitting Marcus Played. Because also, I'm a little bit OCD with my uh, podcast subscriptions. Like, I can't have them sitting there if I've already played them. Or say if I've started listening to a podcast and then 
I haven't really wanted to finish looking at it, listening to it. And it's something I'm subscribed to. I always have to put um, hide all of the played episodes. I think it's because I'm a zero inbox person on email as well. And I'm also a person who on my iPhone, I can't have any notifications showing on my apps. It's all a little bit OCD potentially. I don't know. Can everyone please email me after this and tell me if any of you do this? Otherwise, this is just me coming across sounding weird. Thank you. Anyway, back to guest podcasting. (laughs) So listen, what I'm thinking is that if guest podcasting is something you are thinking of doing for 2023, if you're not, why not? It's such a bloody brilliant way to introduce yourself to a wider audience, honestly. If you are planning to, then I would really urge you to just limit how much you prepare for the interviews. Allow yourself to be really present, listening really deeply and being reactive as a guest. So when you listen in really intently to a question and you haven't over-rehearsed an answer, you just can give your instinctive, honest, authentic answer. And that is what makes for a really powerful interview, in my opinion. So, of course, the other thing is that if guest podcasting is on your agenda for next year. Why don't you apply to be a guest on this show? I'll pop the link in the show notes. We have an application form, you know, so definitely reach out to me. And like I say, I love being interviewed on other people's podcasts. So if you're a podcast host and you think your audience might enjoy a a little dose of my entrepreneurial real talk, then yeah, I'd love to be your guest. So reach out. And again, just email me, jill at jillmokes.com or reach out to me on LinkedIn. Either way, just reach out and we'll make it happen for sure. So I just wanted to share that with you for this week. So a shorty but a goody episode, I think, because it's a short, sharp, do this thing. And it's really effective. Don't over prepare. And I also want to just send another shout out to Hayley Maxwell of Fierce Impact Podcast because she was a wonderful podcast host. She asked really interesting questions and I'm not sure when that episode goes live, but when it does, obviously, I'll be sure to let you know. And I will also link to her podcast as well in the show notes for this episode. Okay, well, listen, have a bloody brilliant week and I will catch up with you again next Monday, of course, as always. All right. Have a good one. Bye for now. I hope you enjoyed this episode and that getting our heads together this week has filled your mind with what's possible. If you love the show, would you do me a massive favor, please? Would you leave a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts? It would really help me put more heads together, reach more ears and expand more minds. Until next week, bye for now.